So in our previous video, we created our create employee component. Now I think we are done with that, right? So it's time to create a new component. So let's get started. So what I will do is click on the screens and create a component called as pro p r o f i l e profile dot js like so. And I will go to this app dot js. I will copy these two lines, Control C, and put and just close this create employee put it over here right and let's create const uh, profile profile and that will be an arrow function and then we can uh, export it export default and that will be profile like so and in order to use this we need to import uh, profile profile from uh, dot slash screens slash profile and for now let's comment this out and we will import our own profile component profile and self close it you know we haven't set up navigation as of now in our project so we are not we are not using all the three components together because we haven't wired up a navigation we will do as soon as we finish our all the screens we will add navigation to our project right right now we are testing this way we are commenting the other components and we are testing this way okay for now save this app component and let's return some kind of let's say jsx and yeah let's return text as of now and say profile right let's see if it works uh invalid Oh, I think it, it hasn't loaded up correctly. So hit reload if well, this was not loaded correctly. So now here we can see that the text is printed on, a, on our emulator. So now let's work on this uh, profile. So you know our profile will have little gradient on the top. So for that we need to install I guess a package or we can just google it here. Uh, linear linear gra di gradient in expo right okay so yeah here it is and it says that you need to install this right using expo right if you are not using expo then follow this installation structure but we are using expo so you can just we can just copy this command and what we can do is just kill our development server right and just uh, right click oh i didn't copy it correctly so let me do that again control c and and hit enter there we go so wait so let's wait for a few moments and i think it's done okay so uh, let's go back to our vs code and now let's start working on it so first of all we'll create a view right and we will give it this view a style of maybe uh, style styles dot root right and let's create here const styles styles and that will be create uh, oh sorry style sheet style style sheet dot create and let's create root and let's give it a flex of one so it should take a whole height of the app or whole height of the screen right okay now inside that view i want linear gradient right so let's import that import uh, how to import that let's look onto the documentation this is how we can import it so let's copy this up Control c and let's paste it over here like so and this linear gradient will be of let's say linear gradient uh, or oh, i forgot that tag and let's self close it right now here we can mention colors array basically colors and that will be of array so for now we will give this two colors maybe we will move from the darker blue to lighter blue let's see how it looks like so what is this t just remove this so let's go to this color picker and select a blue color maybe dark blue right yeah let's see this one control c let's see how it looks like right and just 
put quotes here and control V right and give a comma put quotes and we will give another color into this so we will pick a lighter color uh, let's say move it to this word right and yeah this color let's see how it looks like control C and control V right and let's give it I think a style right and a style it will take a we'll give we'll give an inline style so we are using double brackets for that and let's give it a height hei gst height of maybe 20 percent of the screen right so 20 percent let's see how let's see how it looks like so i think we haven't run our run up our server spin up our server so hit npm run and write enter So it is starting up and I think we can close this and if we see on our emulator and on if you see on this let's wait for a few seconds and it gives us an error can't find variable linear gradient because I think we have imported it uh, okay so I have forgot T here okay let's save this out and let's see this uh, still we have kind of a warning let's reload it hit reload still it is giving us an error and that is all because we don't have color we don't give color as a prop we have colors we, I forgot just s over here like so if you save this now the warning error should get rid let's hit reload again and now we have a beautiful gradient but this is not taking 20% of the height because uh, yeah because again we haven't give this flex one to the root right so again we forgot just uh, styles from styles we want to use root let's see if we save this and let's see this again now it is taking 20% it is looking beautiful it is looking decent yeah it is fine okay now I want one circular image uh, like here right right here on the center let's do this right so uh, in order to do that let's import image uh, this capital i and put a comma here and let's use this image image and self close it like so and image will have maybe uh, let's say style and we will use inline style so it will let's give it a width uh, a not like so uh, width of maybe let's say this time we will give it a hundred right and also height of hundred it should be a perfect square and let's give it a border radius to make it circular b o r d r radius this one and that will be half of hundred that is 50 to make it perfect circle now uh, what we can do is we can give it a source as so you are see source and source we can here write uri uri right and that will be of string and let's go to unsplash unsplash right and let's pick some kind of image right let's say a person and let's select student and let's select orientation to square and uh, maybe not student let's remove this student uh, maybe maybe this man yeah so let's copy image address and let's close this up okay so uh, put it over in between control V right okay and let's see how it looks like right uh, it is loading over here now I want to align this to a center and push that to uh, somewhere a bit in between this right so I want to align so how I can do what I can do is create a view right create a view I can put this image inside a view right and I can give this uh, let's give it a tab I can this give style to this view and you know I want to align this image column wise 
now you know default direction is uh, oh i want to align this image row wise but you know default direction is uh, column and for that to align we use justify content if you want to align row wise without changing the default direction then we can use align items right so if you don't want to change the default direction of column instead of using justify content we can use align items ali align items to center it out row wise ali gn uh, it is not giving session okay we want to use two brackets and then align items let's see how it if, if it works or not align item center and it is centered up now i want to give it a little again let me close this up i want to give it a little margin top margin m a r margin top from top and i will give it in negative direction maybe negative of 50 to move it upwards 50 let's see and oh not positive negative minus 50 and let's see ha huh? nice it is looking nice it is looking beautiful maybe we can make it more bigger right maybe we can make it maybe let's say 140 and 140 and if this will be border radius will be half of 140 divided by 2 let's save it and let's see how it looks like now nah, now it is looking way beautiful it is looking way beautiful and i think that's enough for this video we will work uh, on this profile page more in next video so bye bye